got my paperwork. Alright, did your card goes in. Now, before any of you mention about the fact that I didn't upload on Sunday, I didn't have a video, alright? I was so busy all week. But this is why this video is going out on Tuesday and there will still be a video coming out on Sunday. So, alright, I'll make it up for it. Right, just checking my straps because today we have got a bit of a dodgy load on. The time is... Oh, go away Siri. The time is... Go away Siri. The time is 5.48. I'm just doing my walk rounds. All my lights are working. Anyway, I hope everyone is well. How the devil are we? Uh, my name is James. I'm a 32 ton class two driver. Well, I'm a class two driver that drives a 32 ton lorry. Uh, happy days, I deliver scaffolding and stuff like that. So, all is good. But yeah, got a bit of a dodgy load on today. That bit there is what I'm worried about, but it should be okay. And for some reason, they're on my wheel arch. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know. That's weird. They can get that down. Right. My straps are doing. All right. Lovely and tight, all of them are. Ideal. So yeah, this is my load this morning. Pretty dodgy, but we will live to fight another day. Now nah, I'm not too worried about it to be fair. Righty, righty, righty. Righty tighty. Let's get the bloody hell out of this yard and spin me bloody seatbelt ring. Of course the roads are clear. It's only 10 to 6. Lovely jubbly. So, we were looking at getting to our, well, we were hoping to get to our delivery for 7 o'clock, but this morning, getting in, getting ready, getting all of the stuff done. Uh, it's taken a little bit longer than expected, but we're on the way. Basically, I haven't been in my truck for the last few days because I had an electrical issue pop up. Basically, there was a wire that was screwed. That, the wire that had all been messed up somewhere between the taco and the gearbox. So they replaced that, but that was sending all kinds of fault warnings to the to the truck and basically telling me to stop bloody driving <clears throat> so that is one of the reasons why i haven't had a re video recorded for sunday last week because all my camera gear was in here and i forgot to take it out when i took the truck to the garage anyway we move on we move on so Today, I actually did request out the day off work, but I need to do a delivery first. So I'm having like half a day, which is still all right. It's my little brother's birthday today, so um, yeah, we're starting at we start at half five, and we're gonna be finishing about ten half ten ish, I reckon. So not a bad day. Um, I did phone this guy up on Friday and say, you know. I have got half a day on Friday, but if I can get to you super early, that will work out very well for me. And he said, yeah, yeah, mate, all right, yeah, you can get it for like seven if you want. Like, ideal. So, yeah. But the ETA is gonna be about 10 past, 10 past, quarter past seven. So we're gonna give him a ring at about seven o'clock and just say we're gonna be there in 15 minutes. And job is a good un. I hope everyone is well though. Uh, today is going to be a lovely day. I've also, luckily enough, well, funnily enough, not luckily enough, funnily enough, I'm actually recording a different video um, later on when I finish work today as well for my mate, for my personal channel. Uh, if you want to go and check out the personal channel, please, I'll uh, leave a link down below in the description. 
but that video probably won't be out until about Saturday, Sunday. So uh, yeah, we're going to the, um, I don't know, it's like an adventure park, not too far away from us. Apparently it's one of the best attraction sites in Devon. So that should be really fun. Uh, so I'm looking forward to doing that later on today. But our main concern today is to get this load to the delivery without any issues. <laughs> So we are coming over Tamar Bridge, one of my favorite bridges. I don't know what, this one definitely doesn't beat the Prince of Wales Bridge. Prince of... I forgot what that bridge is called. Anyway, the one that goes across to Wales. <laughs> but I like this bridge. You've got all the water either side of you. I think it's a very pretty bridge and that was a very pretty truck. Uh... <clears throat> So that means we're only about half an hour away from our delivery and current ETA is about 10 past seven. So we are on good track and we've stopped a couple of times to check all the straps as well. So we are doing, we are doing all right. Uh, and we are about to come through Saltash Tunnel in a second anyway. That's an all right truck as well, shiny. I have got just a very dry throat this morning. Very dry. And I don't like it. I don't like it. I love this tunnel. Again, don't know why, I just like this tunnel. I know it's probably not the best tunnel out there, but I like this tunnel. All right, Saltash Tunnel, just after Tamar Bridge. Lovely, bloody, jubbly. Don't go over 30 miles an hour, there's bloody cameras everywhere. <sighs> Yawning for a sec. Oh, bloody hell. I'm not even that tired though, that's the thing. Like, I'm, I keep yawning, but I'm not even, t I don't feel tired in the slightest because even though I got up at half four, got in work for half five, I still had eight hours sleep last night. Like, I still had a very good night's sleep. And. Yeah, I went to bed at like half eight. I had eight hours sleep, I think. Half five, half six, half seven, half eight, half nine. No, 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 no. Half nine, half 10, half 11, half 12, half one, half two, half three, half four. Yeah, I had eight hours sleep. Crazy. I think that is my longest amount of sleep in a night for... <sighs> Since I can last remember having eight hours sleep in one night, I normally get on average about six hours. And that is the reality of being a dad, wanting to have a little bit of your own time to yourself and being a lorry driver where you have to start relatively early most mornings. <laughs> so yeah, I was very, very proud of myself. Last night I was, I was so, so, um, so convinced I was just gonna watch the videos, catch up on my, on my trucker vlogs. Uh, there's some trucking vlogs that I, I need to catch up on. But last night I got in bed and I was like, no, I'm going to sleep. I was like, I'm actually just gonna say no and just go to sleep for once. Cause I never do that. So, and, and I feel all better for it. I feel all better for it. And I'm very glad I did. Very glad I did. Come off the A38 into Liscardio. I don't know why I keep looking at the camera for some reason. <laughs> and there's like a million roundabouts. There's one that we've just done. 
go either go off left towards onto the A38 again towards Bodmin, which, if I'm right, the next truck fest is there in September, I think. I don't know, I'll have to double check that because I want to go. I do really want to go to a truck fest, but I have to double check that, and see what date it's on again. And then we're at another bloody roundabout. And then I think after this roundabout, we hit another bloody roundabout. We sort of just do like a big circle on yourself, really. But we like to do roundabouts slowly because of the of the loads we have on. Oh my God! The sunrise this morning is defeating me, and the window is very dirty. We need to give that a good clean later on, or tomorrow morning when we come back in, as I am finishing early today. I do have my sunglasses, I just don't think it's as sunny as needing sunglasses, you know? Look, another roundabout. getting there yeah and then down here is another roundabout so that's four roundabouts in, in like less than half well in about a mile or two of driving four roundabouts actually i do know to be fair milton Keynes is awful for roundabouts because the whole way through driving through milton Keynes, i don't think you hit like i think you hit a roundabout like every like 500 yards or something like that. I think it's it's just ridiculous how many roundabouts are in Milton Keynes. If you've ever driven through Milton Keynes, let me know down below in the comments. They're building some houses here on the right. Charter walk. Dog's having a little poo poo there. Audi. Living, imagine living right next to Audi. That'd be so ideal, wouldn't it? Really would. There we go. Oh, another roundabout. Go around this round. I think this is the last roundabout we hit. I'm pretty sure it is. Ooh, nearly curved it with the back wheel there. Ooh, got a bit, a bit too close for my liking. But we didn't care a bit, so we passed the test. Passed the test. There we go. Yeah, now the sunglasses are coming on. Bloody hell. And that doesn't even make it better. <laughs> they are pretty good sunglasses, well, they're prescription ones. So they're very good, but that is like directly in my face. And I can see nothing. <laughs> well, I can now. But a mix of the just the pure glare, as well as the little bit of dirt on the window, is making it very very hard to see so i'm having to sit right up against the back so that the um the sun visor is sort of in the way Bloody I, wi I really do wish i had one of those electric blinds that comes down on the newer volvos uh, mine's a 12 plate so mine's not quite up to spec with the tech but we do our best we do our best to survive with the conditions we live in This isn't the best way in, but but we know we can do it. It is quite tight up here, but ah, it's actually not too bad to be fair. There is literally like you go like 100 yards on there, turn right, and that's a proper junction. But this is just straight through, sort of avoids any traffic coming through because this is one way. So. You haven't actually ever got to worry about meeting someone down here. There's no one's bloody here. I expect not to be meeting anyone sort of down these lanes anyway. Because it is seven minutes past seven and most people are in bloody bed. Unless you're in the construction trade, then you tend to be awake at this time of the morning. Right, I don't actually feel the need for my sunglasses anymore. Oh, lovely jubbly. Lovely. 
lovely. Oh, and then there's another tight bit up here, which is actually worse than that bit. And that's not one way. So we'll just uh, let the van through here. And then in a minute, because it gets quite narrow, we're going to stick the old um, flashy lights on just to say, look, I'm a big vehicle. Get out my bloody way, else I will just destroy you. All right? And yes, I will do that. I have no... I have no worries about destroying your vehicle to get through. <laughs> um, and that is not the attitude to have. <laughs> cool, look at me laughing at my own jokes. Ooh, an Arctic spin down there this morning. Where the bloody hell did he turn around? Where the hell did he turn around to bloody get in there? Yeah, this is the other type bit. This is where I will go slowly. Sort of mirror to mirror stuff, you know? But it's not too bad. I've been up here a million times now, so it is absolutely fine. But I think the first ever day I came up this road, I met a bus. Bearing in mind it was the first time, so I didn't have a bloody clue what to do. I didn't really know how to figure out the situation. I'd come up too far up the lane to back down, so it was a no-no from me, you know? It was an absolute no-no from me. And I think, I'll show you in a minute. Because I didn't spot it when I met him. And he told me to pull into a field. So that's what I did. And it was right in the end. But when you're meeting a bus up a road like this, where there's just nowhere to pull in, you do sort of poo yourself. You do have a little doo-doo in your pants. There we go, yeah. On the left here, there's a little field. I'll go past slowly. So I pulled into there. Obviously, there wasn't it wasn't that overgrown then, but luckily. Because <laughs> if I met him today, he'd be the one backing down, I'll tell you that. Anyway, we are pretty much just down the road from the delivery now. So um, we will see you once we are being offloaded. So whilst the guy's offloading me, I'm just gonna give him a cab a little bit of a clean because whoever was in here last has left it in absolute state. I also need to clean my windows as well because they're disgusting. Oh. Turn that off. It's all the mud. Ugh, oh, horrible. Now I'm happy, boy. Anyway, oh, that's so much better. Oh, you don't really appreciate it until you clean it, you know? Anyway, yeah, it's just filthy. <laughs> anyway, the, uh, see you there for a minute. Uh, the guy's just finishing offloading me. I think he's got four or five lifts left to take off. Current time is 7.53. So, if we leave it by half eight, at the latest, which I don't think we'll, we'll be out of it by quarter past, I reckon. We'll be good. We'll be good. Ah. Like so, paperwork's been signed. I just got to finish the old health and safety part. Just sign this off to make sure, just to say that everything was unloaded safely and job 
is a good one. Right, let's get the bloody hell out of here. Give me food out of my pocket. Give this guy a toot toot, goodbye. <laughs> reversed in here today I'm not, I don't normally reverse and I normally drive in turn around and reverse out but reversing in was actually easier than driving in get out of there Let's get out of this bloody this bloody place my deal what good morning it's been bloody hell what good morning it's been Right, gotta try and fight the morning traffic back to the yard. They're a bit low for my liking. Um, I was supposed to clean my mirrors before I left, but I forgot. So we'll just leave that now until we get back to the yard. We'll leave it till we get back. I'm very happy I got five minutes just to wipe down the inside of my cab. Hate it when it's dirty, absolutely hate it. It's my working space, so leave it bloody clean, please. I should get past you there, car. I should do that. Lovely. Thank you very much for stopping in a suitable place. My deal. Right, now the narrow bit. Let's get up in here. Oh, lovely. Oh, lovely. Doing all right in terms of meeting vehicles the car we just met met i met in a very very good space because she was able to pull into us into a into a little patch for me for me to pass so <clears throat> this is the worst bit and then we're done and then we're we're pretty much we're not far out of here we were able to fit in a 15 minute break whilst being unloaded so that's our morning all right we won't need to take half an hour break today because um, I won't be working that long, so I won't need a half an hour break uh, later on today, so that's ideal. I've had the 15 and we're just clear to just drive straight back to the yard now. And it's been a very, very good morning. Ooh, that was close. If I was five seconds ahead, you would have had to back up quite away, mister. Come on, yellow car, you'll get past me there. Come on, love. Come on, you get past me. Yeah, put your phone down. Nope, she's reversing it. She's reversing it. So much space next to me as well. That's the thing. At least she knows how to reverse the bloody thing. The amount of cars I see down country lanes on a daily basis that don't know how to reverse they don't know how to put the car backwards is shocking and it's kind of like should you be on the road if you only know how to put your car forwards because you do have to reverse sometimes um so but at least she's doing it all right yeah i'll squeeze in there i'll squeeze in there lovely jubbly so that's where we came up and this is the way we leave. And this, actually here, is a nice lay-by to have your break in. It's not really a lay-by, I think it's a passing place. <laughs> but, you don't get many trucks coming up here, to be honest, so you don't really have to worry. Mainly tractors, to be honest, but tractors are smart drivers. They know exactly where to go and exactly how to anticipate the road. We are coming to the end. Here we are, back out. Onto the main road. And it's a nice big junction as well, so you can take a nice big swing out. Ideal, look at the sky this morning as well. Look at that. I'm a lucky man to be doing this job, very lucky. Right, let's get back to the yard and fingers crossed we should be back in about an hour or so. And we're off the dual carriageway, lovely jubbly. Let's 
So it's just approaching half nine. I don't need my bloody sunglasses now, do I? It's just approaching half nine and today has gone absolutely swell. Everything has gone to plan. I love it when the day comes like this. I mean, I'm more excited because I get to finish early today, but um, the day has gone to very, very well. Everything has gone to plan and job is a good one. Job is a bloody good one. So just coming up to the yard. I think the guys need my truck for tomorrow. I don't know, I'm driving it to the where they load it anyway, and hopefully they need it. If not, then I'll be driving it back round to the main entrance. Right, we are back. So, let's see what's happening. And that is me done. I'm back in the yard. You got Travis on the forklift over there, back in the yard all parked up. Ready for another day tomorrow uh, they've got to load my truck up for my run tomorrow i think i'm going to same place in the morning but guys check out my new phone the iphone 11 no <laughs> that's what i used to have yeah this is the iphone 13 pro max so this should do well with my tiktoks i recorded one today my first one on it today so jobs are good and just getting all my paperwork ready and that um, anyway i'm gonna end the vlog here if you did enjoy please like and subscribe and i'll see you guys on sunday with another video because i said didn't i I'm recording two this week to upload two this week because I didn't upload last week. So jobs are good and have a good one. Take care, guys. See you in the next one.